اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ربی یسر ولا تو آسر و تم بالخیر الحمد للہ with the mercy and blessing of Allah سبحانہ تعالی today we are going to see that how can we call Allah سبحانہ تعالی through his one of his beautiful name and how can we apply it into different case studies inshallah alright so the name that we are going to do is Al-Ghafoor which means the forgiving so this uh, this word comes from the root words غَيْن فَا رَا and it occurs almost 234 times in the Quran you might have heard some very common statements with this root word. Can anybody give me a, a word which is very similar to the family words of Al-Ghafoor? Hmm? Ghafir? Okay. Something drops and it breaks. What do we say? Maghfira. Excellent. Somebody passes away. We talk about Maghfira. And then we have something that we say very commonly which is Astaghfirullah. Right? So, ista means seek and ghafara means to cover up. So, ghafara basically means to cover up and istighfar is when you're covering up some sins. So, these are some common words that you see here. This in Like they are in nine derived forms that we see it. Now, you can look at look up this name and listen to it in more detail about this name but right now what we're going to do is we are going to use this sheet to see what is my lesson that i have learned from this name like today what perspective does it give me for this name inshallah and then what is something that will impact in my life how will this impact in my life inshallah all right and one action item so it's time to climb higher and make some you know uh, use out of this name al ghafur does anybody already has some understanding of this word how do they use it in their life you have some understanding like how do i use it in my life any idea ہوں So, all right, <laughs> okay, <laughs> all right, so Gafara means to see and then we are going to see from the action item. So how are we going to do that? I'm going to give you some information before I'm going to give you this time to climb challenge to be very, very like open about it and inshallah we are going to use this time for it. So what is... Al Ghafur, the one who is exceedingly forgiving and he forgives beyond expectation. We may think that I'm not going to be forgiven for this, but Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgives for that as, as well, for that particular sin. Like some of the things that we do sometimes, you know, people may not forgive. They will hold grudges. I personally know so many people who are such good people, like individually, they're such good people, but two of them would not, they are not willing to even see each other's face. You know, they, they burn down to that limit and you may have experienced this in your life. So he is the one who accepts repentance and pardons our faults and he, he covers our sins like as if there was not there. So Allah says in the Quran that Alam ta'alam anna allaha lahu mulku samawati wal ard yu'adzibu man yasha wa yaghfiru li man yasha. What is the meaning of man? Who? So I want you to think of your own name here. Like who? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, do you know that Allah belongs to the dominion of the heavens and the earth? He punishes whom he wills and he punishes, he forgives whom he wills and Allah is over all things competent. Sometimes people do this also, right? They like to forgive. For some people, it's such a big deal. They do such, they bring you such a big harm and you're just okay with it. You're like, it's okay. I'm fine with this, right? And you, it's like your best friend or something and you just overlook. And sometimes somebody does li just a little bit of small thing and they're so upset, they're so mad, they're not willing to let go. They're not willing to let go. So inshallah, knowing this name of al Ghafur, I want you to do some practical activity today right after this ayah. What is this ayah? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, وَالَّذِينَ إِذَا فَعَلُوا فَاحِشَ أَوْ ظَلَمُوا أَنفُسَهُمْ And those who, when they commit an immorality, Right now, we live in times in which there is 
like abundance of immorality around us. Like, you know, like you have universities and colleges where people, there's boys and girls living in dorms and situations. They have relationships. Even if you go in, you know, like third world countries, you will see the universities, they will have concerts and whatnot, and then you will see the girls and boys hanging outside and they're sitting together here and there. They're actually like hostels and guest houses that rent out rooms like on a daily night basis, on a two hour basis a four hour basis and they even legitimize like you know those relationships so they are able to go there it's facilitated for them and for people living in the west it's not even a big deal like they open dating you guys know already what happens in a prom and what you know happens at different campuses so Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is saying that ho those who when they commit an immorality or wrong themselves by transgression remember Allah and seek forgiveness for their sins فَاسْتَغْفِرُوا لِزُنُوبِهِمْ وَمَنْ يَغْفِرُوا الزُّنُوبَ إِلَّا الله. And who, who can forgive sins except Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? But there is a quality here, and I want you to highlight this. Walam yusirru, which is sad, ra, and ra. And they do not persist. They are not like, oh, no, 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 I just did it. It's okay. It's, everybody's doing it, so I'm just doing it also. It's okay. No, no, no. Walam yusirru ala ma fa'alu wa hum ya'lamun. And they do not persist in what they have done while they know. So we are now going to do an activity. Okay, and I want everyone of you to think, take a pause, just think for a few seconds, write down a mistake or wrongdoing you have committed recently and you will be putting it inside this bucket without writing your name. Okay, so think about anything like it comes to your mind like on the day of judgment, oh my God, I did this or this happened, nobody knows about it. But, you know, I, I know, like Allah says, right? Yes. Something bigger. Something bigger. You need to think about the biggest mistake that you might have ever done. Okay? Like the biggest, the worst of the mistakes. You know, like even the other day I was talking to my son. I was like, you know, when, uh, like, you know, like if you go for a blood, sometimes give a blood and then you are like faint. Sometimes this happens. You have like that dizzy feeling and you realize like the whole world is spinning around and you have all the life flashback in front of you. So what happens at that time? The small details don't come forward. What comes forward is your big, big, big details, right? So like for me, like when I went to childbirth, you know, at that particular moment, like, you know, even this, my last one, when they were not able to give blood and it was a crazy situation going on, I, I said my shahada. And at that time, the life flashes back really like vividly in front of you. Like, oh my God, what did I do and what? was supposed to do, what did I do, and where did I go right, and where did I go wrong. So I want you to think about a mistake or wrongdoing, and I'm going to make it a little bit easier for you, because you, mashallah, are people who reflect, who look around, who interact with your peers and friends. So it could be either you or somebody you know very closely, and they, they, have, they are involved into this. And don't be afraid to write anything or anything or everything. Okay, we are not writing our name on it. Nobody's reading who you are. So you're going to just take a, I'm going to start passing this. You're going to start writing it. You're going to fold it down. Once, once we will pass the bucket back again, then you're just going to fold it down and everybody will just throw it in and we're just going to mix it. Okay, later we will be picking one out and we'll just be reading it without any names or anything in there. Like who wrote what? we might have done and uh, what we really want al ghafur to cover keep covered for us inshallah that allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive us and we will see that how we are going to relate that how we are going to use this in our life inshallah all right so let's start from here you can take and if you want to write more than one you're fine with that also okay so inshallah so i'm going to give you Two minutes for this, so go ahead and start writing on that. And then, meanwhile, we will be listening. Open, say open, open. All right. So I'm gonna write. I'm, I'm gonna read this again. You know, like they say in that uh, the movie also, let it go. So don't try to peek in anybody what somebody is writing. Don't try to look into anybody's let them just be relaxed it's a safe space you can write whatever you want to write and just keep it next to you maybe in your in your fist when the bucket comes back to you you can just drop it okay all right so write down a mistake or wrongdoing you have committed recently and put in the bucket without writing your name 
So when we say recently, it means in your previous life, something that is weighing you down, something which is like, you know, you, you're really wanting to let go now. It's like time that you want to live light. It's time that you want to live right. Okay. And again, if somebody wants to write more than one, they are, they are fine, inshallah. And we will cover how many ever we can cover. Now I'm going to move forward and talk about, uh, yeah. So I'm just going to keep it here. Okay. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in Surah An-Nur, Nur means light, the chapter of light. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, and let not those of virtue among you and well swear not to give aid to their relatives and the needy and the immigrants for the cause of Allah and let them pardon and overlook. Ya'fu wal yasfahu. Ala tuhibbuna an yaghfir Allahu lakum. Would you not like that Allah should forgive you and Allah is forgiving and merciful. So while you are thinking about your situation, while you are thinking about your scenario, what you want to share or let go today, uh, you can pass this bucket also like here. So while you are thinking about that, what I want to tell you is that this is, you know, the incident where Hazrat Abu Bakr Siddiq said that I am not going to give any more money. So I'm not going to give any more money to this particular uh, person. Why? Because he put an allegation on his daughter. He said, Aisha there was a there was an event of slander, right? And he said that I'm not going to put any more money there. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is reminding that Allah tuhibuna an yaghfir Allahu lakum. Maybe you are writing that somebody did something to you that you are very upset about. Somebody did something to you that you're writing on that chit that somebody really did something bad to you and you're finding you're struggling that how can I forgive that person, right? So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Allah would not punish them while Rasulullah are among them and then Allah would not punish them while they seek forgiveness. So for ourselves also, what should we do? We should increase in istighfar. And Allah says in Surah An-Nu that فَقُلْتُ وَاسْتَغْفِرُوا رَبَّكُمْ إِنَّهُ كَانَ غَفَّارًا And ask forgiveness of your Lord. Indeed, He is an ever perpetual forgiver. Okay? So I'm going to read this last ayah that I'm sharing with you and I hope everybody has written down something, you're holding on to it and maybe I can have a helper pass the bus basket around, okay? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, and this ayah is worth noting down on your sheets that you have. Anytime, 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 anytime you feel that, oh my God, what did I do? Allah subhanahu wa says, قُلْ يَا إِبَادِيَ الَّذِينَ أَسْرَفُوا عَلَىٰ أَنفُسِهِمْ لَا تَقْنَتُوا مِنْ رَحْمَةِ اللَّهِ O my servants who have transgressed against themselves by sinning, do not despair the mercy of Allah. Indeed, Allah forgives all sins. In Allah يَغْفِرُ ذُنُوبَ جَمِيعًا Let this sink within yourself. Alright? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, this is a person who has done like an extreme bad thing. He has made an extreme bad mistake. We live in a, in a culture in which this is so much common. There's indecency, there's immorality, there's access to sin, which is so common. Allah is saying that if you have done something wrong, look at this, Allah is not saying, calling this person a sinner. Allah is still owning this person. And I want you to think about it. Allah SWT is calling this person, Ya Ibadi, Oh my slave. You know, those who have you know, transgressed, have gone like a farther out, they have like moved away. Upon their own souls, they have done something wrong. La taqnatu min rahmatillah. Do not despair of the mercy of Allah. Why? Because Allah forgives all sins and it is He who is the forgiving and the merciful. So even if people close down the doors on you, they are not willing to let it go. You just knock the door of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and you will find him al-ghafoor. So how should we live this name? Ask for his forgiveness with sincere repentance and forgive others, cover their faults and don't embarrass them. Okay? And don't expose your wrongdoings as Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala kept them in secret. So right now, do you, you will say that, oh, you know don't, what? Then why are we doing this activity? Why are we writing our faults here? So why? Because we are not writing your name in there. Okay, so it's very safe zone. You can write anything and everything. If you need more sticky notes, you can get them. But we are not writing your name. So we're not exposing anybody. But of course, if we did something wrong and then we come back in the light and we start telling about it, then that is not right. 
Now, quick takeaways, action items. Go ahead and write. Let's start your day with Surah Al-Ali Imran, the last 10 verses of Surah Al-Ali Imran, and call out to Al-Ghafoor for forgiveness. Okay? Rabbana, faghfir lana zunubana, wa kafir anna, sayyiyatina, wa tawafana ma'al abrar. Again, you can read the details of this later too, but from the practical activity point, end your day with Surah Al-Baqarah, verse number 285 and 286. You have two times the word here, Ghufranak and Waqfir Lana coming here. All right? When you leave the toilet, why do you say Ghufranak? Anybody? Why? If we say that, I hope you all say that, right? When we enter the bathroom, the dua of entering the bathroom. Hmm? It is a dirty place and even that time when you're not like, you know, like you're not able to remember Allah subhanahu ta'ala much, you're saying Allah forgive us, like, you know, like even during that time, a mindful person is always mindful. Even he goes inside, he's asking, Allah may niyazu bika minal khubsi wal khabais. So then you have the Sayyidul Istighfar that you can add in your life, inshallah. Okay, Allahumma anta rabbi, la ilaha illa an, khalaqtani wa ana abduga wa ana ala ahdika. We are not going the details of this expression, but the, the point is that what you're asking Allah subhanahu wa is that oh Allah you are my Lord none has a right to be worshipped except you you created me and I'm your servant and I abide to your covenant and promise as best as I can you know don't be hard on yourself sometimes yes you are trying your best and Allah knows that so I take refuge in you from the evil of which I have committed I acknowledge your favor upon me and I acknowledge my sin so forgive me for verily none has can forgive sin except you Okay, and then there is another dua of forgiveness that we say as part of the salah. Has everybody put this down? Uh, can you help me? Just move it around one more time, just in case somebody still has it. Just flip it in front of everybody. You're done? Done? Yeah. Over there. Zara, you done? Put it? Oh, guys, you guys are fast. Okay. All right, so this is another dua of salah, and again, you can find this, inshallah. And we can say astaghfirullah, astaghfirullah, sakla. I'll take this. And now we will be calling you one by one to sit in this fancy, fancy seat. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and before, before I do that, I'm going to give you the last reminder that Rasulullah said, O son of Adam, so long as you call upon me and ask of me, can you all read that? I shall forgive you for what you have done, and I shall not mind. O son of Adam, were your sins to reach the clouds of the sky, and were you then to ask forgiveness of me, I would forgive you. O son of Adam, were you to come to me with sins nearly as great as the earth, and were you then to face me, ascribing no partner to me, I would bring you forgiveness nearly as great as it. So let's think about anything or everything wrong that we might have done, and consciously just say, Astaghfirullah. Right? So let's see what is a lesson that I have learned, what is this going to have the impact in my life and what is going to be my action item and I would like the first person who wants to come here and then I will tell you the instruction what needs to happen, my first wallet there. All right, come on, I saw the first hand, mashallah there. Okay, sorry, I think you both raised hand at the same time. but I saw. So what is the instruction now? Take a card and read the mistake. <laughs> And then suggest how can you use the knowledge of al Ghafur to help with the situation. Now this is a big mistake that has happened. Thank you. Oh, you where did you? You wrote a mistake as well. Seriously, he did. <laughs> then where did this come from? Okay. Um, doing many bad things as a kid, but not knowing that it was wrong. Okay. So how do you think now knowing al Ghafur, we can connect this? How? Well, you were like a kid back then, you um, really don't earn sins, but now you know it's wrong, so now you can ask the list with all of for Okay, come here, come here. I'll give you this seat. Okay. So now you can ask the list with all of for forgiveness because... Okay. Um, I'm the bad kid right here, okay. <laughs> okay, so I was a bad kid back then, but now I have hope. Mm -hmm. yeah? yeah? And what else you want to tell me? Knowing al Ghafur. Um, can you can you read it one more time because I think it's doing many bad things as a kid but not knowing that it was wrong. 
so you didn't know if it was wrong and you were a kid back then so it's fine as long as you continue to ask Allah SWT for forgiveness and don't repeat your mistakes very good mashallah that was excellent right so inshallah don't live like live light and live right inshallah you now know who is Al Ghafoor so what you have to do is close that chapter don't just stay no oh, I used to do that I used to do that no just take it to Allah SWT and then move on very good Jazakumullah khair Ooh, that was correct ah so there is consequences for some bad sins, right? <laughs> SubhanAllah. Who wants to come next? Everybody has to come. Come on. Come fast now. Third person, get ready. <laughs> I hit a ball into someone's window. <laughs> Um, I, I mean, that was me. I hit a ball in the window. Then what should I? What is your advice to me, knowing I'll go for? <laughs> well, I mean, if it broke, then like you should probably go like pay them <laughs> or fix it. <laughs> How can I ever face that neighbor or that person? How can I ever do that? Um, I should maybe hide them whenever I see that them, person. You send them like your basket. You say please. Please, for huh? <laughs> um, please forgive me. I'm really sorry. And then, like, you get your insurance company or like someone to fix it, and then they'll send them like regular treats, and then they'll love you. <laughs> okay. Okay. And then you ask forgiveness, like, from Allah Subhanahu wa Taala, and like say, like, please don't like put hate in their heart for me. Like, I tried my best. Alhamdulillah. You know, this is with the knowledge of Quran and Sunnah because actually in the world of today, we are actually seeing people doing suicide on just these small things that, oh, I'm such a horrible person. I did such a horrible mistake. I, how can I face the world now? So let me just finish my life, right? Is that the right thing to do? No. All right. Come quick, quick. Everybody has to come. So just come fast. All right. Good job. I make mean jokes sometimes without knowing. Read the last, last part. I make me, mean I jokes. I make mean jokes sometimes without knowing. Without knowing. Okay, but now, now the person is yeah, reflecting. I now I'm reflecting that, oh my God, my so jokes funny. are so mean. Now what should I do? Yeah, what should I do? Just make nicer jokes. <laughs> and knowing El Ghafoor, what should I do? Um, repent to Allah so and say sorry to everyone. You said mean jokes. Excellent. Very good. So you not only have to repent to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, but you have to say sorry to the person that whom you might have made that mistake, that yeah. mean joke. Mistake. Jazakumullah khair. While somebody else is coming, anybody has an example of a mean mean joke? Huh? Huh? Say it. Uh, <laughs> heart, heart, heart. <laughs> okay. All right. <laughs> they all wrote it. They all. There was an activity. They all wrote it. I kicked we don't know who's the right. Right. And made them cry. <laughs> I missed on that. Say it again. I kicked someone in the shins and made them cry. Oh, I did such a horrible thing. Violence is not the answer. Huh? Violence is not the answer. You need to apologize to them first because you shouldn't do that. You should repent and you should make an action plan. You need to know how to better manage your anger. <laughs> Very good. Awesome. Excellent. Maybe take to the other person to the chiropractor or something, right? Okay. Come, 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 volunteers. Come, come fast. <laughs> lied, I lied a lot because I, I wanted people to think that I was similar to them. Okay, that's, that's real, first of all. Um, I would say, number one, just be yourself because people don't care who you are. They just want to be with you because you're pretty and everybody here is very pretty. 
And then um, I would also say, uh, you don't have to all at once become like your true self. You can start, you know, saying that, okay, maybe my favorite color is green instead of blue and small, small stuff. And then obviously make the word that like your good deeds stay yours and they don't go to anybody else. So, yeah. Mm. Very good. And then how do you relate it to Al-Ghafoor? Um, like, should I stick to my lying because I've been doing this for a while no. and Allah's mother is so mad and angry at me now that I, he just no. has written my name as a liar now? No, because and even the biggest stuff can be forgiven, right? So very good. This is something so small, you can just leave it. Very you. good, very good, very good point. So if we had been lying and we did something, don't continue with it because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, taqnatu min rahmatillah. You don't have to call yourself liar now and just keep going like that. No, 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 just change your ways. Hmm, I really like that self-reflection, right? So, who is watching, you know? Allah. Yeah. So, what, what's your advice to me? Uh, just know that Allah is watching and he won't like it because I'm supposed to do a do. You have to be clean to do namaz and mm -hmm. to touch the Quran. Mm -hmm. And knowing Allah is al-Ghafoor, how does this change my situation? Uh, you can ask for forgiveness because like he's all merciful. So should I keep doing that, like sneaking away from wudu and just <laughs> pretend I'm praying salah because Allah is gafur, I can just ask for forgiveness later? No, you should like stop that habit. I should stop that habit. So if you think about Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's name, Al-Khabir, he's fully aware, he's an Al-Hasib. He's counting also like by mistake you were doing it versus by choice. It's, we have to make that difference, right? So that was an amazing self-reflection. Jazakum Allah khair. Let's go fast. We have award ceremony waiting next to her. Yeah. Being really disrespectful to my parents. Okay. Um, I guess like, you know, obviously talking to your parents and asking for forgiveness and asking for forgiveness from Allah. Well, also, they do a lot for you. They, they, they like, come you here, come here, come here, come here. Every time, they do a lot. So, yeah. <laughs> okay, so so uh, so knowing al Ghafur, how how can I connect this to being disrespectful to the parents? So you ask for forgiveness from your parents, and then you ask for forgiveness from Allah. But my parents are so mad with me now that they are not willing to talk to me anymore. Then I guess like. They have like really closed down their du'as chapter for me. They are not wanting to, and this is serious. Like there are real, really people whose parents are no longer interested in them anymore because they're like, okay, I'm done. You're not even part of my inheritance anymore and things like that. How, how could I approach this? Mm, I think doing small things for them, trying to rebuild that relationship. Uh -huh. Yeah. Okay, excellent. So asking Allah for forgiveness and keep making it. Um, yeah, I need your help to send the next piece if he's coming. Move it closer. Okay. I was mean to my dad before. Um, I left for a party and uh, didn't apologize. Um, probably after you come back to your party, you probably should forgive him or a sorry, ask for forgiveness. Um, cause <laughs> <laughs> um, and um, ask Allah, uh, please forgive me for what I've done. Um, so yeah. Okay. <laughs> So maybe bringing something back for the dad also, yeah, right? From the so party, bring a little birthday cake. <laughs> yeah. So it's just like, you know, when we do uh, for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, we can do extra nawafil, can do extra charity and sadqa to ask for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's forgiveness. Just like that for humans, we can do some extra acts of kindness, inshallah. Um, wish bad things upon a girl that I was arguing with. Um... Maybe ask for forgiveness and hope that it doesn't happen. And what is this? Uh, what is this thing called in one? Excellent. 
it's like badua and this is like jealousy right and this is like a human thing and this is the reason of the first crime committed on earth right so so what should i do um ask for forgiveness and hope that and pray that it doesn't happen but i don't like that I don't like her anymore oh mm. what should i do knowing al ghafur and yeah i am jealous of her then what should i do ask for allah to take away the jealousy very good point excellent point right so take away the jealousy from my jazakum allah khair Oh. Live about the time I went to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> And all good girls, Masha. <laughs> And a little sad face too. Um, I think. <laughs> Because what was happening when I I didn't go to sleep could be questionable, right? Yeah, the why did you why yeah. did you go to sleep so? Yeah, why maybe I was on my time? device looking at something which was not appropriate. Yeah. Oh no. Now what should I do? <laughs> okay, so um hmm. You should go to sleep earlier. Maybe take melatonin. I don't know. <laughs> um I think Okay, so knowing Allah Subhanahu wa ta'ala's name, Al-Ghafur How how should I approach this? You should stop lying because that's a big sin, and you should try to sleep at the right time instead of watching stuff or doing something in which you're not supposed to, or playing the game or something. All right. Okay. So adding istighfar and asking Allah Subhanahu wa Taala to align my day and night. Right. That's I should do. Jazakumullah khair. And by the way, we can even do right now. So some used to do istighfar more than you know, like seventy to hundred times a day. So we could ask Allah for forgiveness for more barakah in our life, inshallah. I was stressed and I got mad at my parents for no reason. Um, well, I guess if you're stressed, that is something that your parents would understand, and mm -hmm. um, you know, try to find something to de-stress yourself. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's a great advice, right? We all go through this situation, right? So, inshallah, Allah Subhanahu wa Taala can forgive, and our parents also love to forgive. So, all we need to do is reach back to them, and in a right way, in an appropriate time, when things have settled down a little bit, and then restart the relationship. Yes, thank you. But I love this, you know, these reflections that you guys took during this time because. Only great people can think, sit back, and think about that. Oh, I made that mistake. Okay. So there's two. So eating in front of a fasting person and seeing someone I know listening to music in Ramadan. Mm -hmm. So for the first one, um, it eating in front of a fasting person. So maybe you should like go eat somewhere else because you can always like see them later, and you can ask Allah to forgive you. And make it easier for you to like um, not do it in the future, and then seeing someone like maybe you can tell them not to do it, or like ask them what they're listening to, so that it's like um, not something that they're not supposed to do, and like ask Allah to make uh, less people be listening to bad things. Mashallah, excellent. And you know what? Knowing that Allah Subhanahu wa Taala is al ghafur like if somebody is fasting and people are eating around them, then the angels are sending salawat on that person, right? So next time you have to eat and somebody is fasting next to you, just let them know that angels are praying for you. There's nothing on there. Huh? There's nothing on there. Such a good person. <laughs> no mistakes. <laughs> um, I need to start forgiving people. Uh, then start forgiving. So I am like holding grudge against people. Like I cannot let let it go. I am like, oh my god, how could she do this to me, right? Um, you need to start forgiving people more and ask Allah to make it easy for you to forgive people more. So that ayah that we did, that Allah, uh, do not you wish that Allah Subhanahu wa Taala forgives you in the case of Mustu and who had put allegation on Hazrat Aisha Taala and her, and Allah Subhanahu wa Taala's command was like you know Hazrat Abu Bakr Siddiq said that oh I'm not going to give him charity anymore, and Allah Subhanahu wa Taala said do you not wish that Allah Subhanahu wa Taala forgives you? So in that case then forgive 
forget and forgive, inshallah. Beautiful. Jazakumullah khair. So, we all done, right? So, inshallah, let's quickly remind ourselves that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is al-ghafoor. So, live light and live right as long as you're connected to the Creator, no matter what life situation comes your way. You will find a way out, inshallah. Why? Because la taqna tu min rahmatillah. So we ask Allah al ghafur you are the most forgiving. Think about all the sins may we may have done, small to big, little to heavy, any kind. Just raise your hand and ask Allah, Allah, you are the most forgiving. We beg you to forgive our sins. Hide our faults from others in both the worlds. Protect us from the effects of our bad deeds in this life and the next. And never, ever, ever let us despair from your mercy and aid us in forgiving others. Ameen, Ya Rabbil Alameen. Subhanaka Allahumma bihamdika nashadun la ilaha illa anta nastaghfiruka natubu ilayk. Jazakumullah khair. Uh, inshallah, continue these conversations of name of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and how can I apply it in my daily life. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.